This is a tough business oh, to run it, for oh, president. Oh, I know. You're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is pr- real tough. You're never going to be president of the United you're States tough, by insulting Jeb, yeah. your way. Hi there, everyone. I'm Marcus Ruin. Republican debate number five now finished. The last set of debates before Christmas and New Year's ahead of 2016 when we will have the first votes of the 2016 election. Tonight, we had two strong performances. One of them you may be surprised by because Jeb Bush was looking to have a strong performance in the first four debates. No luck there, according to analysts. But tonight, Jeb Bush and Ted Cruz had two of the strong performances, according to analysts and what they've said so far. Well, Donald, you know, is great at, at the uh, one-liners, but he's a chaos candidate, and he'd be a chaos president. He would not be the commander-in-chief we need to keep our country safe. I would seek out, as I have, the best advice that exists. I won't get my information from the shows. I don't know if that's Saturday morning or Sunday morning. I don't know which one. Well, let's see. I'm at 42 and you're at 3, so so far I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. So far I'm doing better. You know, you started off over here, Jeb. You're moving over further and further. Pretty soon you're going to be off the end. Don't lose your you. Now, who won? Looking at data based on Google, you can see that Donald Trump was number one, and Ted Cruz up there with the strong performance as well, followed by Marco Rubio, Carly Fiorina, and Ben Carson, and Jeb Bush as the top candidates overall as an average. But if you want to look at the top moment, top single moment, who was that? That was Ted Cruz. You see he has that yellow peak there on that graph. Now let's take a step back to the earlier debate. There was an earlier debate with four candidates, the undercard debate, and the candidate who stood out there appears to be the one who was not invited to the last debate. Lindsey Graham didn't even have enough poll numbers to get into the last debate. Now he's on the stage and doing pretty well, it seems. He had many zingers and attacked many different candidates. I'm tired of beating on Bush. I miss George W. Bush. I wish you were president right now. We wouldn't be in this mess. Now on Donald Trump, he said, Mr. Trump, you don't have to speak about everything. It's not required. Again, Trump wasn't on the stage there. Trump was on the stage two hours later, but he still went after Trump. He also said if Trump were to win, ISIL would be dancing in the streets. They just don't believe in dancing. Foreign policy, mixed with jokes there from Lindsey Graham, and one more line from him along the same lines, Russian President Vladimir Putin. He said, I'm not afraid of a guy running around on a horse without a shirt. Some lines that are memorable that you saw a lot of reaction on social media. Now let's talk overall talk time from the main big stage debate. Who had the most time? It looks like Ted Cruz with 16 minutes. Number two, Trump, Rubio, Christie, Carson, Bush, Purina, Paul, and Kasich in last place. They all had nine minutes or more, so it was a little more balanced in some debates, but you do see some disparity from number one to uh, number nine on the stage there. Now, how will these performances positively or negatively affect polls. That is what we're going to have to see as the next poll numbers come out. In previous polls, we saw Trump get higher and higher, including ones this week that put him at over 40% of the vote in the Republican Party. We will have to stay tuned to see how tonight's performance will affect future polls as we head into 2016. And as we head into 2016, you should stay with 24newsnow.com for your coverage, both on YouTube and our website. And you can feel free to follow me at Marcus Rune on Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope as we cover the campaign and the next presidential season. So I'm very glad that you decided to join us here at 24newsnow.com. I'm Marcus Rune, and have a great day.